gonna feel really silly if I get all like if I get all emotional and sentimental today and then don't actually finish this game but I think we're gonna finish it it felt like if I'd gone a little bit longer last night, I probably could have finished it last night. But then we hardlocked, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I come back to a next stream and beat it in 10 minutes. I did lose some progress, though. Oh. Right. Notebook. I don't think I'm gonna need this very much today. But we'll see. All right, five twenty four day twenty six. Coder, I will play the full anthem for you at some point. You deserve it. Thank you, friend. Uh, day 26. It's weird to think that after all this time my lasting impression of this game might be a series of giant stone fists. Now, let's see what we lost. Fish. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're gonna go through this conversation again. Getting closer, I'll explode. I impressed myself. Hero needs brains. Four sigils hidden somewhere inside the Tower of Iwanis. Take the rebirth sigil and go wander around like a dumbass. Go twist your brains into a pretzel searching. Where are they, where are they hidden, you ask? If you know your seafood, you'll find them. That's fine, actually. That's fine. Let's just save now and prevent another hard lock. How about that? Well, that won't t that won't prevent a hard lock. It'll just make it so that if there is another hard lock. I don't have to have that conversation again. 
No interacting with that, that's fine. Okay, sometimes a giant stone foot as well. Next question, and this is an important one. Did I save before or after doing this boss fight? Okay, I, I didn't really lose much, which is really good because that was like the only time I actually hard saved after getting into the into the tower. Like I could conceivably have lost the entire day's worth of progress if I didn't save it exactly the time that I did. All right, so. So we'll find the sigils if we know our seafood, huh? I knew that. I knew that. It just, I just had to, you know. Oh, you can step here too. You know, I expected everything about that to hurt me, and none of it ever actually did. Oh, hell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, maybe? This might be okay. So we're going to hit this save point. Because that's kind of puts us in the middle of the two areas. Now what I really wonder is... Do I have, are, are all four of the sigils just 
in whatever location and I can find them in any order? Or does the order that I find them in actually matter? Also, why is this one statue facing in a different direction than all the rest of them? Suspicious. Hello, Blood Wolf. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. All we did is learn that I uh, I didn't really lose anything significant from the uh, from the hard lock yesterday. So now it's time for Operation Wander Around Like a Dumbass. Which it, okay. Which is definitely a very different experience from the one that we normally have in La Mulana because reasons. Wow, that just stays a hitbox, huh? All right. So I need to... What? So I need to know my seat. Well, that wasn't one. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, hey, random... Uh Random sudden announcement. Um, I'm probably going to cut my hair tomorrow. And by probably, I mean I have an appointment to do it, so it's basically going to happen. And when I say cut my hair, I mean like cut my hair. So the... Uh, the COVID mains had a good run, but we're gonna we're gonna go back to a, a medium length for a while. Damn it! That being said, um, wow. Okay, this one is just. Okay. Okay. Understood. We will not be, uh, we will not be using that checkpoint. That checkpoint is bugged. Okay. I see. Well, now I'm really glad I made that extra save. Well, if that's the case.
feel like I can make that. This is dumb, but I want to do this. It feels like I should be able to do this. Ah, eh, whatever. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in from this direction. Because this is pretty much where I'm trying to get back to anyway. You know what, Tyler? This part of the game doesn't really require that much input. We can just kinda we can just kinda sit back and enjoy it. I mean, I suppose we do technically have puzzles to solve right now, but I mean, they're not that puzzly. Still nothing on that brick. Really feels like that brick should not be nothing. All right. This is now the checkpoint. And not a moment too soon. for some reason as though he's in the top class of Eglana inhabitants, but let's just let him have that one. Some people just need that kind of thing to keep going, you know? an inkling of an idea.
the, the only real hint that I have about what's going on here is you'll find the you'll find the seals if you know your sushi or your not sushi specifically if you know your seafood. So that has me thinking, like, maybe it wants me... to... Uh-oh. Like, maybe it wants me to defeat certain enemies being fish in a particular way What chaos? Um, I actually discovered that mechanic after the fact while I was cut while I was uh, editing the video for YouTube. I saw the uh, I saw the like the soul transfer jump start jumping back and forth, and I was like that how you determine which one of them is vulnerable. It's like in the moment, it's really hard to see. It happens really quickly. And there's so much else going on in that fight. rooms obnoxious. Go ahead and not scan that one. This seems very much like a place where there should woo, where there should be something. kind of fun that they actually lampshade the the fact that there is another tower but the way it's written it looks like they're just making a joke like this looks like a shit post that 
got the two towers, the return of the king. Where's our fellowship? Um, <clears throat> I believe they are, uh, I believe they're hanging out smoking underneath the town right now with the uh, Zelfood's video game stash. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna lie, if you know your seafood, you'll find it isn't much to go on. That's what I expected. <clears throat> the lack of scannable objects in, here, in this environment also makes this difficult. It's not even what I was going for. I was just trying to hit the bonefish. Well, that didn't appear to do very much. Honestly, like, there's a suspicious lack of suspicious things is, uh, that's a very real, that's a very real feeling. doesn't come down if the if the thing's not over here
I mean, I have to... Oh, I thought that should... I feel like that honestly should have killed me. I expected it to, and honestly, the fact that it didn't takes a lot of the, uh... Takes a lot of the stress out of this room. Sadie, welcome to Fish with Legs. Here's the better art. Fully insured. So these, these seem like, the, these seem like the primary focus. Like the hint that I have is I need to know my seafood. These entries are all specifically about preparing the fish as seafood. And the thing that gets me is it's like four lines of talking about the actual fish, and then the last line is just something completely unrelated. So like, the shrimp is pretty good. Live squid prepared as sashimi is also super good. The octopus in the Seto Inland Sea is amazing. As for shellfish, nothing beats scallops. Feels like I ought to be looking for a Maybe it's these on the wall. So we want to look for shrimp. Squid. And 
an octopus, and what was the last one? Scallops. What does scallops look like? Like live scallops. Because cooked, they kind of just look like a ball. Yeah! What? Oh, I see. This jump's gonna be a thing. That oh, wasn't that bad. What? Help would be. How did you get this number? <laughs> 